Thank you very much, Johnny. Uh, all right, Max. You go five perfect yesterday after what happened your last time out. And then after the game, you're asked about Johnny Vandermeer. That name is tossed out to you. What's mm -hmm. it like to even be questioned about Johnny Vandermeer and be even <laughs> kind of put in, in that same category to an extent? Uh, we're in a good conversation. <laughs> we're talking about some something special, obviously. Uh, you know, he's got an unbelievable feat uh, that no one else has ever been able to do. So to be even been, uh, mentioned in the same breath is something special. What have these last three starts been like for you? You've had some really strong stuff happen to you, you in your career. Are you able to kind of pull back and uh, look at these three outings and kind of appreciate what you've been able to accomplish? Um, you know, yes and no. Uh, yes, you, you respect of how well uh, you know I'm out there executing pitches, and I just feel like I'm able to do everything I want to with each pitch. Uh, you know, I really feel like I'm in midseason form right now where I can be consistent. But at the same time, uh, you know, you don't want to get caught up into it. Uh, you kind of want to have blinders on and just keep moving forward uh, because you know that uh, my goal of the season wasn't to have three great starts in June. It's to have a great year. And that's a really tough thing to do in this league uh, because you have some ups and you have some downs. And, uh, you know, when you get in these situations, you just try to ride the highs as long as possible. You're already out there today. You're throwing. You're preparing for your next start. The work ethic is something that you really take pride in. Where does that come from, that strong work ethic, that sense of preparation? Uh, I probably got it from my parents and my dad. Just, uh, we, you know, every, every sport, uh, all the kids growing up, just uh, we always played hard, just worked hard and, uh, you know, attention to details, stuff like that. So uh, it's, it's stuff that uh, I love doing and I love being as prepared as possible when I take the mound. Has that always been a factor in your career? Do you think that that's been a major part of allowing you to get to where you've gotten? Um, probably. Uh, you'd like to think so. Uh, you know, for me, I, I try to make sure I take care of my body as best as possible and uh, make sure that uh, I don't leave any stone unturned and that um, I'm as, you know, when you when you work, it, when you run and you lift, and you do everything that you just know when you're out there that uh, you can't you can't be beat. And so it kind of gives you that feeling uh, that uh, you, everything you've done is going to come out and uh, it's going to show. I know that you kind of like having your, your secrets about the way that you prepare <laughs> and the way that you approach your outings. Is there anything that you can kind of clue us into uh, as to maybe what makes your between-start routine maybe a little different? Well, I mean... I mean, we can talk about the actual stuff. I mean, with running, you know, I, you know, with distance, I do a bunch of distance running just because I want to have that endurance. Uh, you know, I want to be able to um, be tired for a long time so that, you know, when you're out there and you do get tired, it's, it's, not, it's you know, nothing in comparison. So, um, you know, I, and then obviously I, I, I lift hard in the weight room. Uh, I keep the weights as the same weight as they do in the off season so that I can keep the power, as much strength as possible during, throughout the whole year. Now, I've always I feel like that allows me to have, uh, you know, good second halves. And because if I'm taking care of my body uh, as much as I can, that I, I can make it through 162 games. During this three-start stretch, what are you most proud of? Um... Just pitch execution. Uh, you know, I've gotten away with a few mistakes that, you know, they hit the ball right at people. I mean, it, it, those are going to be hits here in, in a week or so. Let's just get, that out. Let's just get through that. Um, but really, it, you know, it's the ability to minimize the walks. I've only walked one guy over three starts, and, and you know, I've had pretty good strikeout numbers as well. So that's something I always pay attention to and, uh, and you know, things that I think that make, a good, make up a good pitcher, and that's something I'm proud of. Thanks for the time, Max. Congrats on a really special stretch. All right, appreciate it.